Hey, yo, 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 what's going on to all my sports peeps out there? It's your favorite sports podcast. But if you don't know the name, let me put you on game. It's the Zone Sports Podcast. Bow, 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 bow. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? On one half of the host, your boy Big V. You see my guy over there and all his 49ers attire. What's good, my guy? What's up, Big Vito? Yo, it's your boy C double O L. So always wondering what the hell. It's your boy Corey never telling the same old tired story. It's your boy Cool C. Never, never, not that I could think of, ever dated a floozy. For those out there in YouTube land and watching us on video, we got the sound for you. Damn. Right there. It's in the house. It's in the house. Big Vito, what's good, baby? Man, I'm in a great mood. You know what I mean? You know, I'm ready to get to all this great, great sports talk. What an amazing weekend for sports. But before we get into all that, we got to let them know who we sponsor by Core. We sponsor yeah. by my brand, Sky Zone Society. So make sure y'all shopping at skyzonesociety.bigcartel.com. We just released two new hoodies. Go over there and snatch them up right this second. Size is small, the 6X available. Go shop right now. Corey, yeah. how was your Thanksgiving, baby? Oh. Oh, my God. You know, it was beautiful, man. It was very um, unconventional. You know what I'm saying? Mm. This Thanksgiving, just put some stuff out on the grill. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. And, and, and that was Thanksgiving over here. Just the ribs, chicken, just just totally went uh, left with, with, the, uh, with, with the Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? We did have some apple yeah. pie. We did have some baked mac and cheese. We did have some of that. But, you know, everything else was, was just grilled up, man. Was grilled up. How yours go, brother? I love that. I might try that next year, Corey. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, my Thanksgiving was great. Um, the turkey, uh, we had a deep fried turkey, you know what I mean, mm. as usual. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be real. It was Do you as, do that yourself or do you no, nah, I actually uh, set my house I, on fire? I know I got nah um uh, I have before I have deep fried it before it came yeah. out splendid. Mm, um okay. Um, but when I switched my diet up, I got rid of all my uh deep fryers I had. You know mm. what I mean? I had two of them. Got rid of them. Got rid of them uh, both. Um, okay. but we know I know a guy who does them every year. You know what mm, I mean? Okay. For the past over ten years now. Mm, I you got the plug, there. okay? I got a little plug, but I'm gonna be honest, Corey. I was disappointed in my turkey this year. No, oh. I was a little bit. I was a little bit disappointed. You know what oh. I mean? I it, it was. It was the skin was great, and when I got into it, a little bit dry. It it, di it didn't damper the Thanksgiving though because. Yeah. It was still good. My wife came through with the homemade mac and cheese, of course. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Came through. And I'm not and I'm not talking about the bullshit mac and cheese either, yeah. Corey. Not yeah. talking about this new age mac and cheese that be nah, going nah, on nah, social nah. media. Nah. No. We're nah. talking about the, the some just scratch noodles. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. You know? Yeah. And putting her little one two on there. That's you know the only way saying? to do it. At least for Thanksgiving. Like, At you know, you can't stuff alone, man. No, no, man. Nah, man. And um, had some homemade mashed potatoes and all that. Okay. Of course, we had the turkey, had the stuffing, cranberry sauce. You know what I mean? It was all good, Corey. I can't lie. Um, the day before I had just got done with my surgery, had to have had the carpal tunnel surgery again on my left hand. I just had the right hand done two weeks ago, went back for the left hand. Everything was good. That was the day before Thanksgiving. So I, I was just, you know what I mean? I was in a little pain, but I was all right. I was just, I, I, I was laid up watching football, just taking it easy. I couldn't yeah. cook nothing. So I was just yeah. chilling, you know what I mean? Laid up, pajamas on, one, one sock on, one sock off, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, my good luck charm, you know what I mean? So I was just, I, I was really chilling and just enjoying the sports, man, and, um, yeah, just enjoying the family, being thankful, man. You know what I mean? Right. You know, um, I went and met my mom that morning and dropped her off a turkey because we both, I got her a turkey for Thanksgiving. Okay. So um, we met up in Burlington, met halfway because okay. she lived in Raleigh, dropped it off, went back to Winston, put yeah. my feet up, Corey. You know what I mean? I was cooling, man. You know what Word I mean? Up. You know, I was, I was, I was really looking, look, Thursday was cool. Cause the sports is on, football on. The Lions been losing as usual since I've been forty for for the past forty years. I've been alive. Still have we've yeah. covered it on this podcast before. It's a we Thanksgiving still, thing, I guess. Yeah. We still haven't seen the Lions win, and, and and they're good this year. And I thought they was gonna pull it off this year. I Corey. cannot believe they lost. Ah, call it, call I it. I can, L. but I can't. Yeah. I can, but I can't. You know what I mean? But um, I was looking forward to Saturday. 
You know what I mean? I was looking for the Saturday, Corey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and for, for the people out there in the zone land that don't know why I was looking for the Saturday, let's get right to it. You know what I mean? I was looking forward to the Ohio State versus, versus Michigan. You know what I mean? If y'all yeah. if y'all don't notice, I'm wearing that that beautiful maize yellow. You know what I'm saying? That beautiful. <laughs> Michigan yellow, Corey, you know, just, just to come on the pod, you know, I, I, yeah. I'm still feeling good, you know, for the people that don't know, man, Michigan put that, 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 that thing, put that man. thing on Ohio State Saturday, you know what I mean? And I'm here to talk about it, Corey. Corey, I'm here, it. To, I'm here to pop my shit. I'm here to pop my shit, Corey. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to pop my shit. Corey, let me tell you, man, what a game. Let me start there. What a game. What a game. Yes. What a game, Corey. Corey, I was watching the game, and um, I was so glad that, um, you know, of course, that, um, you know, aside of the, the post game, I was, I, you know, me me being the lady that we won. But just during the game, I was just appreciative of how, how tough each team was playing. Yeah. Um. How smart each coach was moving, each call. I mean, each down, Corey was just so strategically thought out. Um, but then Corey, you know, after you know, you know, after the dust settled and we won, I'm gonna be honest, Corey. Just the eye test, the game wasn't as close as it was. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Ohio State, man, y'all can't fuck with Michigan. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put it out there. Y'all just y'all can't fuck with Michigan. Y'all didn't. I'm gonna be honest. Y'all didn't even show up to me. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Where was the flare? What was that B? Oh, that B Ohio State flare at Corey? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I watched every snap of that game, and I've been watching this Ohio State and Michigan rivalry for my entire life, as far as I can remember. And it's and they always come at Ohio State that is. They come with that bravado, that the Ohio State bravado. I ain't see it, Corey. And all the talk was on was was on Marvin Harrison, Marvin Harrison Jr. Man. and all that. Maserati Moore. And you know what? I'm glad you said that because you know what? Maserati Moore was looking more like a monster. What's up? What's up? Huh? I got sick and tired of all week. Everybody talking about Maserati Moore. What's up? Every time they threw in the damn ball, Corey, the announcer kept saying Maserati Mall. Oh man, Gus Johnson. And yeah. I love Gus Johnson. Gus Johnson, you a legend. I love you on the on the uh, old PS3 basketball games. I love mm. you. They need to bring you back if they're doing them again for 2024 and going forward. EA, how let Gus. Listen. But I got tired of you, Gus, on Saturday, calling him Maserati Mall when he was out there looking like a damn monster. I don't want to hear that. No exposed to play. He had maybe one exposed to play on us, maybe. He caught one. He caught a little three-yard touchdown pass. It won't no Maserati out there. We shut that down, Corey. What's up? <laughs> that was that was more ground and pound running the ball. Boy, that was going to there. They couldn't do nothing with us. What happened, Corey? Corey what happened first, first play of the game when they got the ball? Interception. That's what happened. Yeah. We picked that <laughs> off. We set the tone from the game. And, and, and guess what happened at the end of the game? Interception. You know what, Corey? We came, we came in, pause, how we started. We ended it how we started. That's how we did it, Corey. We came in the game with a pick, and we ended with a pick. We shut Mazda, Mazda Mob down, you know what I mean? And that's what happened. No explosive plays like that, Corey? What's up? Yeah. And keep in mind, at one point in time, we had we had a, like a freshman DB out there on him at one point in time. Yeah, they wanted to yeah. ground and pound the ball down. Yeah, they want to court. How dare them want to ground and pound balls against us? <laughs> Do they know who we had in the backfield back there? We all ground and pound. What are y'all yeah. talking about? Y'all really about? are. What? Yeah. Y'all, bro, bro, no way in hell y'all thought y'all was going to come into the big house, the big house, and ground and pound us? I'm watching the game, Corey. I'm just laughing the whole time. I'm like, yo, bro, this is not on you all side. Y'all want, why y'all ground and pounding? That clock was just going tick, 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 tick. You know what I mean? It was going tick, tick, tick. Ain't that how Pusha told Drake? 
Tick, tick, tick. You know what I mean? Ain't that a priest told you? Tick, tick, tick. You know what I mean? Priest told him. That's how it was happening. You know what I mean? With Ohio State. Y'all can't go that. Y'all can't go that route with us. And they show. Corey, listen, man. We did this without Jim Harbaugh. I don't want to hear nothing yeah. from nobody about our strength of schedule. We showed up when it came. We can only play who we can only play who we play. Yeah. We can only play who we play. But guess what? Everybody, y'all ain't play. We ain't playing nobody. Corey, we beat down Penn State. If y'all want to count that. And it's, and it's fine if y'all don't. Our Super Bowl is beating Ohio State. And that's what happened, Corey. We yeah. beat them in, in, in good prime fashion. That's what we did, Corey. That's what we did. And I called my nigga Killer after the game was over. Yeah. He wanna talk about you know what I mean? Uh, 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 you know, this, that. And th- I said, listen, man, I don't want to hear nothing if it's not salute to Michigan. We came in there and whooped their ass. We had Mazda Rock, Ma- Mazda Mall, you know what I mean? Looking like a hoop, dude. <laughs> we did what we came to do. Two picks when they counted. What are we talking about? What are we talking about right now? Listen, man. The polls have came out. Georgia's number one. We're number two. I respect it because of, of you know, Georgia has a little bit of a tougher schedule than us and all that. You know what I mean? Cool. I, I hear I hear that. I don't want to hear that Michigan don't show up. I don't want to hear that we cannot beat somebody such as the Ohio State when it matters, Corey. We did it. We And guess what, Corey? We did it without our head coach. We That's did right. it. We did it without Jim Harbaugh. That's you feel crazy. me? I, and, and That's to, the and, most impressive thing to me. Co- yeah. Corey, out of everything, that is the most impressive thing. You know what I mean? And, oh, by the way, you know what I mean, Mr. Assistant Coach, where was your damn tears after the damn game? I ain't seen you drop one tear. You're going to cry we, after that's we beat Penn State. Tears, yeah. Corey, he didn't <laughs> drop not one tear, and I was checking for him. So, so his grandma could give him a, another tongue lashing like she did. But guess what? He didn't act up this time because like, I don't know why. This was the stage for him to act up and he ain't act up. I'm disappointing you. You supposed to you supposed to have acted up, boy. This is when you act up, Corey. But I yeah. digress, man. How did you feel about the game, man? Man, well, you know I'm a certified Ohio State hater. Um, so I thought it was beautiful. Um, I wish that Jim Harbaugh, I wish none of this cheating stuff would have ever came out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what my man Killer want to talk about. Oh, well, well, it's going. it might be an asterisk next to their name. I, I, it won't. To me, no, it won't no, be no, an Just asterisk. stop it. Just stop. It, it, just it stop. won't It won't be an asterisk, and I'm going to tell you why. You know what I told him, Corey, real quick? I said, bro, I don't want to hear that because everybody cheats. Everybody no. that came out in the NFL and in and, and college that says, hey, bro, we all still the signs. That's why they change me. That's why they change it from week to week. We might have went a little bit too far and had my man on the sideline. <laughs> D- D- James Bond, Megan the Stallion. Yeah, no, yeah, well, y'all, y'all did go too far. But again, like I said, I'm gonna keep the same energy that I keep with the Patriots, right? Fact. And the first two Super Bowls that they won came under Spygate. But boy, that next year, that next year was it? Oh seven when they had Randy Moss. It was yeah, and, and they went sixteen and zero. Now they lost, but, but they lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they showed but, out. But they showed out. I would, I would say this: the two thousand and seven New England Patriots to me was the best team to have never won a Super Bowl. The way that now I'll say this because I, I got to keep the same energy, but I thought that the Patriots was clean that year, that oh seven year. Yeah. That was when they had the punishment or the year after they had them. I can't remember because it's been so many. But, you know, they, they, I think, me personally, I think they was clean that year. But they went 16-0. and And I'm talking about they was just, the, like, I remember they beat the Washington Commanders like 53-10. to 10. Like, it was just, it was stupid. I mean, nobody stood a chance. And it kind of reminded me of y'all. Like, y'all got had this year or whatever. Y'all dealt with suspensions the same way that the Patriots did. Now, I don't think when y'all ghetto blasted the East Carolina Pirates for the first game of the season, I'm quite sure that was clear. I'm quite sure Connor Megan the Stallions didn't go down to Greenville and go to Downey Ficklin Stadium and sit on the sideline. 
I don't think he did that. So I think y'all beat us fair and square. I mean, it was a soft schedule in the beginning. But let's 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 move back to Ohio State. If you want to argue, because this is the third year in a row, if I'm not mistaken, that y'all beat Ohio State. Three, baby. If you want to argue last year, knowing what's done came to light, I got it. If you want to argue the year before, I got it. But now, either Jim Harbaugh or anyone on the stand or on the staff will be complete idiots to come into that game dirty. That game dirty. I don't think so. I think this matchup with Ohio State was straight up. I, I do. I, you you have to be extremely cocky or just stupid to be like, yeah, you know what, we all this stuff going on, but yeah, let's really do this for a house. It's like, no, 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 no. He won't even on the sideline, big thing. This won't, and look, let, let me, let me, let, I, I, so I'm watching this game and I, I'm really trying to break it down because I'm like, y'all are, y'all Michigan, y'all are the kings of the ground and pound game, pause, no pause, however you want to, to, to do that, right? But then I saw Ohio State they try to do the same thing. But they try to do the same thing because they're throwing picks. Big V, I looked up the stats. Marvin Harrison Jr., Maserati Marv, as my, my hero Gus Johnson like to call him. Five receptions? 118 yards? That's it? That, wait a minute. You got a Maserati on your squad he only get five receptions. I can, I don't even know the targets, but it don't even matter because if he only have five receptions, Big V, uh, Mr. Cal McCord is not targeting him enough. And, and mind you, was, mind you, half of those yards probably was on that long play that he caught. That that one I called yeah, explosive play, long yep. one. Yeah, there you go. And 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 I'm like, what? You you you, you had Joe Clay and Gus Johnson talking about man. Look, man, if y'all gonna go down, y'all got to go down with that guy. That's ridiculous. And, and and then it's like, I'm looking at the Russian. They ain't doing too much there. I mean, you, they're averaging at, at best 3.2 yards uh, uh, at, at best. Or the whole team as a whole, excuse me, 3.8. In the NFL, that's cool. Not in college. You're supposed to be able to gas cast in college. And so I'm looking at it and I'm like, they don't have an answer. Now, to your guys, I'm looking at J.J. McCarthy, uh -huh. 16 for 20. Uh-huh. Touchdown. QBR 94 and a half. And I said, oh, my God. <laughs> they don't have an answer. I'm like, they do not have it. And you know what? When I thought it was going to be a tie in the game, y'all guard number 65, Zach Zender. He went down. And got caught it out. Mm -hmm. And you felt the air being let out of the big house. They said at the end, he was one of the cats mm -hmm. that really kind of rallied folks to come back. Like a cat. So we mm -hmm. could do this Ohio State thing one more time, to go against Ohio State one more time. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a senior, someone in YouTube, correct me on that. Uh -huh. like, either way, I thought, oh, man, this is going to be a turn of the tide coming into the second half. What happened and that next play, Corey? <laughs> I mean, they got smoked. They got – it was like, wait a minute. It was more the same. Touchdown. Field goal. I'm like, wait a minute. Ohio. Not that I'm rooting for them, but I'm like, okay, if y'all going to do something, coming out of the uh, of halftime, now is the time. It was more the same. And you're right. If you're just looking at the box scores and stuff like that of the 30 to 24, you're looking at like, oh, no, nah, it was a close game. Nah, nah, nah. It, 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 the, this is where the scoreboard can lie to you. Uh huh. Because y'all was dominant the entire game, and I felt like Ohio State was playing catch up. I really felt that, and they just did. They just didn't have an answer. Um, and, and and I get it. You know, like 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 Killer was saying. Look, if you want to say, hey, you know, the cheating this that, and the third, I got it. But again, I keep the same smoke that that I would for the Patriots or the Houston Astros, anything like that, and. I think at least if, if, if no other game, and like you said, we talked about this a few podcasts ago, maybe a year or so ago, where in college, and beating your rivalries matter, though. Yes. Beating your rivalries matter. Yes. And I tell you what, if we just want to strip everything and just keep it strictly on this game, y'all y'all being Michigan would be some damn fools if y'all came into this game dirty. And I just don't think that was the case. Got to give y'all this props. 
for this win. Me personally, I loved it. Um, I think Ryan Day is in trouble because this is how it goes in college. In professional sports, it ain't it ain't that big of a deal. To me, there's not really any quote unquote really rivalry in professionals in regards to teams. You may have individual players and they rival each other, and it just so happens they play on said team or whatever. But in college, it's about the teams. I told you three thousand times, dude. Us as Tar Heel basketball fans, North Carolina Tar Heel fans, which would you rather do? Would you rather sweep Duke and go out in the second round of the tournament? Or would you almost rather win the natty, but you get swept by Duke? You get swept by Duke. It's, nah. Some people say championship. Some people may say Duke. I say no. We got to get Duke. We, we got to get Duke. <laughs> I, that, it matters in college, and it's a shame because I think Ryan Day is a good coach. I do. But if you can't beat Michigan, it ain't going to matter, dog. And there's already rumors. Um, uh, My man, Maurice Claret, who used to play for Ohio State back in the day, Tweet it at Urban Mind. Say, yo, what you doing next year, dog? That is the temperature. That is the temperature of Ohio State and Columbus, Ohio. Like, yo, man, Ryan Day, you cool? But um, at least Herb was beating Michigan. Yo, Herb, what you up to? Dude kicking folks in the helmet in Jacksonville and all that stuff. They don't give a damn about none of that. We need you to come back here so we can at least be competitive against Michigan. It matters. So, Ryan Day, your job is, is in trouble. Sad to say. Yes, yes. I was just getting to say, Corey, it will be some changes going into next season. Um, We'll hear something about that probably in a couple more months. I promise yeah. you that. Like, this yeah. is three. They're, they're not, they're not, they won't lay down for a fourth, going into a fourth year of losing to us. Three was enough. It will be I'm changes, man. Michigan did it with Jim Harbaugh all those years. That is so rare. For AD and the university to stick with someone like they did with Jim Harbaugh, because y'all was getting smoked we by were. Ohio State previous to these past three matchups or whatnot. Yeah, we were. They stuck with there, and I, I mean, you know, the clock was ticking. Yeah, gonna You're be right. the same thing with Ryan Day, buddy. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see, man. You Good know what stuff, I mean? man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's keep it in. Let's let's keep it football, but we're gonna drift to the NFL for a bit, Corey. Yeah. You know, at the start of the NFL season, Corey, we came on this podcast. Yeah. And we questioned if, you know, if 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 the team of Denver, Sean Payton and the boys, had been smoking some of that Gary Payton pack out there in Denver. You know what I mean? We know that the weed is legal out there. So we have been wondering if they have been on that Gary, have Gary Payton shit him a pack. You know what I mean? We we didn't know because it had been a dramatic fall off of football down there in them. Ladies and gentlemen of the Zone Sports Podcast, the Denver Broncos are on a five-game winning streak and are in the hunt for the playoff score. About that. Corey. Um, Russell Wilson has led the team uh, from comebacks on some game-winning drives at least once or twice out of those five games, Corey. Yeah. Corey, I got to ask you, man. With the newfound success of the Denver Broncos, yeah, do we owe the Denver Broncos an apology, man? Um, Let me say this pretty clearly, and I want um, everyone out there in the zone land – you hear me clearly when I say this. Hell no. An apology? Are you kidding me? An apology? Apology for what? Like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, that, that, that. But, so let me get this straight. You want an apology for a gentleman of, of Russell Wilson, who's the leader of the team, that got a five-year contract for 242 million, 5,088. Thousand five hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars, two hundred thirty-six dollars. We 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 want to apologize for him. Wait, wait. We want to apologize to someone who got a fifty million dollars signing bonus, Big V. We want to apologize to a person who guaranteed that signing. He got one hundred twenty-four million dollars. That's that's that, that, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me let me let me run now. Let's see. If you want to apologize to 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 uh uh, uh, uh the Denver Broncos team that lost by one point to the Raiders, lost by two points to the Washington Commanders. Lost 70 to 20 to Miami. Lost 31 to 21 to the Jets. Th that's who we apologize for? Listen, listen. <laughs> Russell Wilson, 
congratulations. Denver Broncos, congratulations. Sean Payton, congratulations. Y'all all making the turn for the better because y'all, the, the wins, especially against Kansas City, the 24 to 9 in week eight in Kansas City, that's impressive. Buffalo, I know they sliding down a razor blade of alcohol and, and, and about the land, you know, razor blade about the land of alcohol river, but Buffalo, they beat them, right? Minnesota, okay, give you that, you won. You know, you beat Cleveland with, with Miles Good on the other end. That's good. No problems. But I can't erect. I, you lost to the Jets with Zach Wilson, 31 to 21. You lost to Miami, who is a team who has not beaten a team with an over 500 record, 70 to 20. You getting paid, like Russell Wilson is getting paid like daddy freaking Warbucks. There ain't no apology. But congratulations, man. Y'all remember how to play football. That's great. You're in the hunt. That's real good. Congratulations. Apology? No way. Congratulations. What say you, Big V? An hey. apology. <laughs> you know, man, when I was coming up with the topics for, you know, today and all that, you know, um, I, I was thinking that, you know, I, I was on the side that we owed, that we owed them apology. You know what I mean? I had been coming in here and yeah. – Really been harsh on them, uh, especially after that Jets L. Oh my God! No, no, the one you let you let an NFL team put up a seventy piece dog, <laughs> and yeah. but, you know, and that that that's when I was really hard on them and pause, and then it was they went on this winning streak core, and I was like, you know, Russell been going crazy. Like maybe we owe yeah. them. You know what I mean? Maybe we owe them an apology, man. Sean Payton over there trying to coach his ass off, trying to get a playoff spot. But hearing you talk about it, Corey, I, I think I'm a, I think I'm gonna renege on what I what I had <laughs> packed up on on this argument. You know what I mean? Nah, you know what, Corey? Nah, we don't owe them an apology at all, man. You right. Y'all remember how to play football, Russell Wilson. You can't pay all that bread, man. You got to figure it out, baby. I don't know what to tell you. And it seems like y'all might be doing it. Sean Payton, you been to these Super Bowls. Matter of fact, you and Russell been to these Super Bowls, man. Y'all got to chip a piece. You feel me? Like, y'all got to figure this thing out. You know what I mean? And I'm glad. I, and I guess, you know, um, them being new to each other and all that, maybe it took a couple of weeks. or me Now, now I will months. agree with that. They I had to the jail. Stuff like that can take time. You're right. You know that might that, I, that I'm thinking that may be the case. We'll see going forward. Um, but you know I, I ain't gonna owe y'all no apology, but I will give y'all props, man. Y'all been playing no some question. Good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe not an apology, but props is due. Y'all been playing some good football. I can't lie, man. Y'all been playing some good football. Y'all won't get an apology from the Zone Sports Podcast. Um, y'all are doing what y'all y'all were doing what y'all supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? That's what Russell Wilson is there for. That's what y'all bought over Sean Payton for. That's what y'all bought, added on those pieces to the defense and all that for. Like, yo, this is – salute. Salute. That's all I got. No apology, but <laughs> salute. W welcome back to the NFL, guys. You know what I mean? But, Corey, you know, I'm, I'm ready to talk to the NBA. You know what I mean? And um, Love the NBA. Love, love the NBA. We know we love the NBA. And I'm glad that we love the NBA because, Corey – I was able to catch some of the Philly game versus the Lakers the other night. Oh, I was able to catch it courtesy of uh, you know, of the NBA app and all that. Salute, you know what I mean? Y'all want to do some sponsorship? We here, baby. We here, baby. You know what I mean? But um, I was able to catch some of the game and um, Corey, what a know, game to catch! What a game to catch! And I'm glad I'm, you know, it was the game that I needed to catch though, Corey. It was the game I needed to catch, so I come on this podcast. And say a few things, Corey. Um, I, I know we just got a little bit of time left, but Corey, allow me to get my rant on, please. Please go for it. Corey, you mentioned that sometimes the scoreboard can lie to you. And um I'm 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 here to say that 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 I'm glad you said that because that was so accurate and so and and, and so um just, just, just so true, especially what I'm getting ready to present, Corey. Um, I want to talk about Anthony Davis. Um, Corey, the last five games, um, I'm gonna read some stats to you. Um, eleven twenty seven against Philly. Well, I'm gonna start at the bottom. Um, eleven nineteen against Houston. 
had 27 points, 10 rebounds. Uh, 21st against Utah, 26 points, 16 rebounds. 11-22 against Dallas, 10 points, 13 rebounds. Um, 11-25 against Cleveland, 32 points, 13 rebounds. And the other night against Philly, um, 11-27, he had 17 points and 11 rebounds. Um, he's been averaging about 21.8 a game and 12 boards, 3.3 assists for the, for the past five games or so, right? Corey, <laughs> those numbers sound outstanding. I know. I know. Everybody out in his own sports podcast, I know y'all agree. It sounds outstanding. Corey, it ain't enough. AD, I caught that game out there in Philly. And let me say, man, you look soft. You look soft, Pauls. You look soft. Corey, I'm sick of AD looking soft. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Um, I literally watched Joe L M B abuse him the other night. And it's not even funny. Um, it's like the secret is that dog, listen, the secret is out on you. Niggas know you soft, dog. They know. They ain't even respecting you no more. Like, they don't even care. I literally watched him be damn near elbow you out the way. And every time he doing it, you complain about you looking at you, you looking for the call, you looking down at your feet, you looking like you hurt, you just looking, you just looking, you just looking for something, you looking for everything but to be aggressive. Stop. Stop. If you want to go to Detroit and do that, be my guest. You want to go to one of the other organizations, be my guest. That ain't the lake away. We don't, we, we don't, we don't, we don't breathe soft big men. Giannis ain't playing like that. What you, uh, dog, if MB is smacking you, the fuck is you going to do with Giannis? What are you going to do? Because let me tell you something. When Giannis and MB go at it, they go at it. It's a war. Like, bodies is banging. Everybody ain't putting their hands on the hip. Everybody ain't holding the arm. Everybody ain't holding the ankle. Looking for a call. Niggas is banging. You not banging, dog. I literally watched uh, Joel Embiid, old school big man you the other night. He posted you up some serious. Had a killer block on AD, too. Man, stop it. Like, dog, you, you going to the whole, so, you soft. I know these numbers is good, but you, I, I do the eye test, dog. I do the eye test. I watch. You playing soft. If you're going to play soft, go somewhere else, dog. Like, like let's, I, I, I came on this podcast, you pods go, told niggas, you not ready for the keys. You not. You, you know. not. You not. You playing soft. That's why when Jokic see you, he beats your ass up. You can't do nothing. You soft. You know who wasn't soft? DeMarcus Cousins. He wasn't soft. Uh. He wasn't soft. That's how you, DeMarcus, d dog, DeMarcus is in his prime. He want to, dog, if you think one for one second that DeMarcus Cousins would have been taking this shit from the Joker. No what? way. No, no way. way. No, no way. way. No way. No way. For all you, you think Shaq would have took that? Please stop. No, oh, no, 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 no. D dog, listen. Dwight Howard wouldn't have took that. Knock it off. You playing soft. You playing soft. I'm sick of it. If you're going to play soft, go to one of the other soft-ass organizations. It's not the lake away. It's not the lake away, dog. It's not the lake away. You want to go and be another a, a pelican and all that? Go be a pelican. Fly my G. Go. Go back there and do what you're going to do. But you got to get out of L.A. You got to do so. You This ain't the lake away. You got to toughen up. Gotta toughen up, man. Now I mean, that's all I got, man. That's all. I'm gonna piggyback a little bit. I know we're short for time. I did not agree with the extension over the summer. Um, I think on one of our podcasts of last year, I think that we should have been open to trading him to see what we can get because I'm I'm sick of it. Like, yeah, you can argue, oh, with Lakers fans, you're so spoiled. Yeah, you're damn right. So what? Okay, yep. we're, we're winners and champions over here. Mm -hmm. We like I have never seen. We said this before, Big V. He is the most consistently inconsistent superstar I have ever seen in the NBA, let alone in the Lakers uniform. And, you know, to us, that Lakers uniform, it means something. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it always have, it always will. Um, and, you know, I just never seen a star who is so talented like he is have to constantly get poked with a freaking pitchfork to say, hey, man, you that dude. Hey, man. LeBron James was trying to give this dude the keys to the kingdom for the past three years. Three years. But LeBron James got to pay, play 85 minutes a game because 
AD is either going to get hurt or he's just going to be inconsistent. And I'm at the point now, I understand your rant. I don't even think it's necessary at this point. We know we we know what we got. We know what we got, and we're not going to move on from so At this point, you can just hope. You don't want the error to be totally done because we was just in the Western Conference Finals last year. Again, we don't brag about that. We're the Lakers. Yeah. But, you know, I, I just think, I know we just read up. You put this guy on the market, you see what we can get, man. I'm 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 through with this guy. I'm through with him. And I know he was a pivotal point to us getting the, the bubble championship. I get all that. You know what I'm saying? But when they had the Lakers, and, and we're grateful for LeBron coming to like, I don't want to sound 100 percent ungrateful because we was in a tough spot with a young building team and we went in the bit, we weren't making the playoffs. I get all that. But to 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 AD, I ain't gonna say LeBron because LeBron, I think LeBron is doing all he could do. But to AD, one championship seems to be enough for this guy. And I'm telling you this, it, one championship won enough for LeBron. Yeah. One championship as a Lakers fan, which you and I both are, with the with the, the LeBron James and AD era, that ain't enough. No. We need at least one more, mm-hmm. but we ain't going to get it. That's all I got. I agree. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. No. It's not looking good, man. No. Ladies and gentlemen of the Zone Sports Podcast, we appreciate y'all tuning in each and every week. Make sure y'all follow the new Instagram page right now at the Zone Sports Podcast. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all following us, man. Shout out to everybody that's watching the clips on YouTube, the YouTube shorts, everybody on Twitter. You know what I mean? Everybody on IG supporting us, man. We appreciate you. Have you watching this, man? Thank you so much. You know what I mean? Corey. You know what I mean? You know, I appreciate you each and every week tapping in. How you be tapping in with us, you know what I mean? Like Yo, guys, my guy. Y'all already know, man. Yo, man. Y'all know how we end this thing, though, right? How we end it, baby. Peace. Peace.